Hello everyone, and welcome to blog post number 4 for Bellrite. Today we're going to be going into the combat system and going over a lot of the mechanics associated with fighting, as well as what is going to cause a lot of these fights, such as raids that will happen for your encampment. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that this is the early game stages, so the fights are quite easy, but they will ramp up over time. So we're going to go ahead and check out uh, some of the enemies that we have around us. Those are the red dots that you can see on both the big map here as well as the mini map on the bottom right. And you can see that there is a small bandit encampment nearby with this green icon that shows that it's an easier one of the encampments. As you get further into the map, you'll find the medium and hard encampments as well which will have much more difficult, much more numerous bandits that you will have to fight. So keep in mind, with these fights, it is going to be very difficult for you to fight them alone. It's always a good idea to recruit some of your companions and equip them with some weapons and armor to have them fight with you. So in order to do that, we just go into the army tab here and we click the add squad button, and that's how we can create different squad sections. Now, the sections show the individuals as well as any injuries that are associated with them, and you just have to click on the small plus icon there, and you can then look at your villagers and determine which of them you want to add to the squad by just pressing the three dots over on the left here. All right, and now that that group has been created, you can just hover over them and quickly see what kind of gear is equipped to them and you can actually click and drag on the portraits to move them to the different squads that are necessary for, let's say, a squad of archers, a squad of shield bearers, things like that. So we're now going to uh, move in to actually fight here, and we'll start by showing on the top right-hand corner, you can actually switch between the different squads actively while you're in the middle of the fight, as well as use some typical army commands such as to follow to charge against them and of course to move to a specific spot and in this case attack these bandits so we'll take care of the bandits really quickly of course i'm quite overpowered so they're not that difficult for me just a couple swings and that archer is gone and we can actually loot the remains here we got an apple and a strap the apple is of course food and the strap is used for unlocking some different technology as you go forward into the game. And now that we've taken care of that, it's time for us to attack the small encampment nearby as well. There are plenty of good reasons for taking out these encampments. Of course, looting them is one of the main ones, but you also have to remember that these encampments have their own radius of threat that will spawn different bandits that are going to run around and attack your settlement. They're going to kill your villagers that are out harvesting some of the different forgeables, things like that. And of course, they are going to be sitting very close to different resource nodes that are going to be important for progression later on in the game. Now, what we're going to do is we'll just quickly run our villagers here into the mess. We're going to have them attack. We make sure that uh, their equipment is good to go and just a couple of sword swings and we take care of them. Now that this uh, encampment has been taken over, we can go over to the side here, loot the chest that's beside it, and we've actually also got a quest item nearby as well. And now if I go to the main menu map, you can see that the encampment is no longer showing up there, which means it has been cleared out. And if you're ever wondering where this bandit threat is located, you can actually click on the map. On the very left-hand side there is a bandit threat tab, which will show the radius around each of the encampments near you, where there will be different uh, bandits in that area. Of course, it's important to remember that if you build close to those areas, you have a much higher likelihood of being attacked by bandits, and your raid threat meter will increase quite significantly as well. One other thing to mention with your raid threat meter is that that will increase over time as you're killing these bandit encampments and angering a lot of the nearby ruffians that are going to want to attack you. One last point I would make about bandits is that as you fight them, you will gain renown for killing them. 
This is located in the top left hand corner currently with the UI that we have. And you can see that the renowned is used up in order to recruit new villagers to your cause. And like I mentioned before, if you go into your actual settlement menu, you can see that there's a raid threat meter at the top right hand side of that window. And that will indicate to you when the enemies are going to be approaching your settlement to attack. So we'll just quickly fast forward into an attack that's happening in the settlement here. One thing to keep in mind with attackers in your settlement is that if you fail to defend against them, not only will they steal a lot of your resources, but they'll also damage some of the buildings that you've worked very hard to construct. So it's important to always make sure that you have ample defenses. And like I said before, this is a relatively easy encounter as it's the first one but things start to ramp up a lot more as you get further into the game. There's other circumstances that will come up, but of course it will often be times where you've got your group of companions versus whatever different uh, place of interest that you are ending up uh, in a fight with. This even gets to the point where you get into the liberation mechanics later on, which we might add into a different video. But for the most part, uh, things like this are definitely subject to change. We're getting very close to the early access release and we'll definitely have a lot more changes to come from that as well. So make sure to go onto our Discord, ask some questions there, as well as wishlist the game on Steam and look out for it because we are releasing in quarter one of 2024, which is happening quite, quite soon. So we're looking forward to it and we'll see you all then.